just a haircut. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm ready. I was going to say, what does it feel like to be here, man? Kind of back amongst all the excitement. Do you ever get that, that itch to get back in there? All the time. The entire time that I've been here, ever since I landed in Vegas, I've been walking around sizing up everybody. It doesn't matter. Anybody walks past me that looks like as if they're at least six feet tall, I'm eyeballing, especially with the cowboy hats with the rodeo in town. Oh, man, I'm, I'm looking for a showdown with somebody, but that's only because I don't have a fight schedule. All right, that's the only reason why I'm going to walk around and talk shit. <laughs> you mentioned the haircut. It's gotten so much attention. Did it shock you how much attention it's got? You know what? Yes, but not, not in such a positive light. And I'll explain. Rose is the main event of a UFC fight card. And everybody wants to ask her about her haircut. What does a haircut have to do with the fight? I have no idea. When it comes down to training, when it comes down to everything else, she cut it so that it could get out of her way because it was a problem. It's a little bit of a hindrance. It bothered me stopping at Walgreens trying to buy scoonsies and they don't have all the black ones. They have the colorful ones and she doesn't want those. Now I've got to go to another Walgreens and maybe like, right, like all of that. We just cut a lot of disturbances and a lot of just just, just un unnecessary things in our life. And it, in the most gangster fashion ever, Rose she cut her hair off. It's in, this was the quote. The shit's in my way at practice. Cut it off. Like that's the quote. That's exactly the, the shit's in my way at practice, man. Cut it off. We drove straight to a barber shop and she cut her hair off. Like that's how bad she wants to win. That's how much she wants to be the best in the world. She's taken that which America claims makes you a woman and she cut it off. If my hair is what makes me pretty, I don't want it. That's that. I mean, that's, that's some, that gives me chills. I don't know about you. Do you think that reflects a little bit of like sexism in sports in general about, you know, the way that women look is such a big deal compared to how male athletes are? I can answer that by asking you, would you watch me if I was a female fighter? Would you be, would you be like, oh my God, I love that Pat Barry chick. She, no, I'm just, I'm not that hot. It, it's hard if I was in a two-piece bathing suit, maybe. Also, don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, you never see me in a two-piece. It might be nice, I don't know. But, like, it, when it comes down to it, the, unfortunately, for now, a woman's appearance does have a lot to do with her fighting ability for some reason. The hotter you are, the better you are as a fighter. Don't know why. I'm not sure why, but that's just how it is for now until we have more females out there that are just wrecking shop. Holly Holm kicking faces off. Joanna, the Joanna champion, punching faces off. Rose squeezing faces off. Like everybody, these women are coming out. They're so ferocious that it's only a matter of time before we stop looking at them only as, man, she looks nice in a two piece. Maybe she should take some more booty pics. All right, until like these women are, they're coming up so ferocious now that they are overshadowing all of that which we look for. For now, I'm telling you, you saw Holly's fight. That had nothing to do with a sexy fight. That was a ferocious, ferocious beating. Like that was all around the way Rose fights, the way Joanna fights. The night it's not a beauty contest, man. They're fighting hard. They're fighting harder than most dudes sometimes. Well, talk about that transition that we've seen from Rose. You've obviously been with her since the very beginning, with her coming up and going through that title fight loss with Carla, and then now to the road all the way back. I mean, what have you seen as first and foremost as the biggest transition that she's made as a fighter? She's grown. I mean, if anything, she's gotten older. She's grown. She's matured as a woman. She's matured as an athlete. She's matured as a partner to me. She's matured as a dog owner, as a student, as a daughter to her mom. She's matured everywhere. After the call of fight, I say this. If we could go back in time and change anything, we wouldn't. Because if we changed anything throughout all of the rough story that she's got throughout her entire life since she was born, through the call of fight, through the show, if we change anything, she wouldn't be the woman that she is today. And the woman that she is today is the woman that she is in love with. And that's what I mean. The woman that she is today is the woman that Rose is in love with. And that's been the biggest change in her fight game. And if you notice the change in her mentality. Like that's what I mean. She's, but she's matured. She's, she's, she's confident in herself. She's confident in her body. Confident enough to shave her head off. Heidi, I'm telling you, it'll be fresh. We give you a whole line. Give me a number but, two, Pat. But she, she's confident enough in herself as an athlete and as a woman and as a human being, as a person. That like that's changed her game. That's changed the way of training. That's changed her respect towards her coaches. It's changed her outlook on herself. And it's changed her performance. I couldn't be happy. I swear to God, I've got the best seat in the house. I do not think so. Looked at this developing division, and obviously Rose has some notoriety now, and it just takes a couple of victories to find yourself fighting for a title. Do you map things out in the team to try to figure out how to get there as fast as possible? Or does it take the time? If, I mean, of course it's going to be take time. We don't want to force anything. We don't want anything to be unnatural. But come Thursday night, if the fight goes the way that we intend the fight to go, Rose should get a title shot right after that. I'm calling it. 
if the fight goes the way that it's supposed to, Rose should get a title fight, a title offer right then on the spot. Talk about speed. Is that a key in this fight? Speed is the key in the fight, any fight Rose is in. Rose is fast, Rose is strong, Rose is conditioned, and Rose is bringing all of MMA. She doesn't show up like the way I did. I'm a striker, and if I hit the ground, it's over. Or some guys who, they're grapplers, but they don't want to stand. Rose comes forward with all of MMA. When the bell rings, here comes everything. Not just, people you ask, what's your game plan? Fight? Win? That's it. It's not stick and move and footwork and slide around and maybe, you know, get a, no, man, it's when the fight comes, whatever's over, and she's taking it. She's taking it. And if you slip one time on Rose, she takes it. She finishes you with anything she wants. You slip once. Give me two more. I don't care.